Hi, welcome to this video. On July 16th at 2.38 p.m. Pacific time, there is a full moon partial lunar eclipse happening in Capricorn. The moon on this very day will be conjunct both Saturn and Pluto, which both went retrograde at the end of April. This is a time of prioritizing what is most important to you, what is most important to your purpose, to your goals. And this is a time of becoming the authority over your own life, becoming responsible for your own life, and really reprioritizing what is most important to you. With Pluto going retrograde, this could have been a time of endings of sorts, as well as um, the darkness coming to light. With Saturn going retrograde, this has been a time of reevaluating what is most important to you. With this eclipse, it is highlighting these retrogrades and bringing into focus your true purpose and what it is you need to do to make it a priority in your life. Um, the Sun and Venus are both conjunct the North Node in Cancer and opposite this Moon and Saturn, Pluto and South Node combination. So the Sun conjunct Venus has been bringing a focus into our relationships and with it being in Cancer, it has brought us into an emotional attunement into our, you know, with our relationships and has likely brought more harmony into our home and into our level of comfort. So um, there's been a sense of home and comfort within your relationships as well, and a sense of family as well. And now that this moon is coming around to the South Node and to Saturn and Pluto, it is having us focus more on our career and our outer world. So because the sun has been in Cancer for almost a whole month now, our focus may have mostly been on our emotional state, our home and our family. And now that the moon is coming around, it's having us balance these two areas of our lives, our inner world and our outer world. So Jupiter is in conjunct the planets in Cancer and semi-sextile these planets in Capricorn. Jupiter's retrograde, Neptune's retrograde, and Chiron is retrograde. Mercury is also retrograde. So yeah, we are going through some retrogrades going on like a mofo right now. <laughs> Mercury is at one degree of Leo and it just went retrograde on July 7th. Uh, Mars is at nine degrees of Leo and is moving forward, but they have been conjunct and are moving out of their conjunction because of Mercury moving retrograde and Mars moving forward. But with Mercury in Leo, this has been a time of needing to like check yourself before you wreck yourself <laughs> because uh, it's all about self-expression and we need to reflect upon whether or not we're coming from our ego or from our heart. And this is a good time of tuning into your heart and listening to your heart so that when you do express yourself, it comes from the heart. With Mars and Leo, this is also pumping up our ego a bit. Um, this can bring us forward into a bold self-expression. It uh, can you know, by bold, it can be both positive and negative because if you're 
too bold, you could be stepping on toes. But if you're not bold enough, then obviously you're not being your full self. So it's good to be your full self and express your full self and be as bold as you can be. But just don't be a dick, okay? <laughs> that's, a, that's the best way to put it right now. No? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but <clears throat> yeah. And then Jupiter is in conjunct the planets in Cancer. So what this is doing is, okay, they're, they're kind of at odds because Jupiter wants to explore. But the sign of Cancer likes to hang out and be a homebody. So, and Jupiter's retrograde. So the likelihood of you like really doing a whole lot of exploring, I mean, there could be some exploring. I think, you know, it's just going to be a little more, um, you might be more within your comfort zone of ex exploration, if that makes sense. Like, you may prefer to be in a comfort zone of sorts uh, when it comes to that. Um, whether that's uh, mental exploration or actual physical exploration, it's likely that you're going to be somewhat more in your comfort zone about it. But what Jupiter is bringing to the Capricorn planets is a balance to the seriousness of Capricorn because, oh goodness, it, with Saturn and Pluto and Capricorn, I mean, we need a bit of lightheartedness and Jupiter is bringing that, luckily, to us, bringing us that sense of optimism and that we will be able to get through this time of Saturn and Pluto and Capricorn and that sense of being able to have a good attitude about it and be more jovial and fun about it. And then Neptune is trining the planets in Cancer. And what that is doing <laughs> is having us be able to be more intuitive and tune into the more collective energies and yet still find our own center within that. But when necessary, be there as a compassionate force for the people around you and the people in the world even. And if you are tuned into a loving energy within yourself, um, especially because Venus is there um, in Cancer, you are able to send out the loving vibes to the collective. So, which will be very necessary since it is sextile Saturn and Pluto, uh, Neptune is. So the one thing to be um, aware of with this sextile between Neptune uh, to Saturn and Pluto is se allowing sensitivity to create a level of restriction that becomes oppressive. So that's definitely been a topic recently and I'll just leave it at that that <laughs> yes we must honor our sensitivity yes we must be careful to honor other people's sensitivity but we need to be careful not to allow oppression to occur as a result of our collective sensitivity at this time and Jupiter is there to remind us to maintain that lightheartedness and that um, to not take ourselves so seriously and to be able to take things in stride and laugh at ourselves and to expand beyond the limitations and separations and restrictions that could result if we're not careful. Okay? Okay. <laughs> And then <clears throat> Chiron being retrograde, it's uh, trine because it's in Aries, it's trine Mercury retrograde and Mars in Leo. So 
healing of wounds is happening right now, especially with Mercury and Chiron being retrograde. This is a time of going within, looking at childhood wounds especially, and healing those things and honoring your younger self and allowing your younger self to be held by your higher self and for it to ultimately be you know, a certain part of yourself is being healed right now. That that inner child is being healed right now. There are wounds of, you know, small and large magnitude that are being healed in terms of, you know, your childhood self. Because Leo rules children and Aries also has a very childlike quality as well. And then Mars is, you know, the ruler of Aries. So there is like this whole kind of thing happening and then Mercury being retrograde, Chiron being retrograde. It's kind of all synchronistic in a weird way. But yeah, uh, ultimately being gentle with that younger self and loving yourself is always a good idea. And then Uranus is at five degrees of Taurus and it is square that Mercury-Mars combination. So <laughs> this could actually be where some of that boldness uh, can turn into eccentricity and where maybe um, there could actually, you know, that's interesting. I just thought of something like uh, with Uranus, sometimes it brings out the kind of your crazy side or like the side that, pe you know, that most people can't always understand or don't always accept uh <laughs> about you um or like they're like okay just tone it down a bit right there could even be healing around that aspect of things of like the you know being told to tone it down a bit um with uh this square between um mars and you know and conjunct mercury retrograde squaring uranus in taurus because you know mars and leo is bold and then, you know, Uranus is eccentric. So there could be this desire to, like, just be yourself in this all this wild and craziness. And then it's maybe not accepted by somebody. Or if somebody, you know, tells you to tone it down a bit. Or, you know, it could be just healing around that and needing to express that eccentric side of yourself. And suppressing yourself in doing that because of a childhood experience that forced you to kind of tone down your own expression a little bit. So yeah, I mean, you could take that in whatever way you wish, <laughs> whatever applies to you. And uh, yeah, I believe that's all of the aspects for this lunar eclipse. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. I appreciate it. Have an awesome time.